Hey everybody, Kiru Paul here. Welcome to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to be covering a very useful Spanish expression, llevarse bien or llevarse mal. Llevarse bien means to get along well with someone, and well, you can probably guess what llevarse mal means since mal is bad or badly, and it means to get along badly with someone. So this one uses the verb llevar, which means to carry, and it's in the reflexive form, llevarse. So it's like you carry yourself well or badly with someone. Me llevo bien con Juan. I get along well with Juan. Juan se lleva bien con su jefe. Juan gets along well with his boss. Maria se lleva bien con sus compañeros de trabajo. Maria gets along well with her co-workers. See, this one's not too hard to use. You're just conjugating that verb in the reflexive, popping con, which means with in there, and whoever you're getting along with or not getting along with. So if Maria was not getting along well with her co-workers, one small change to that. Maria se lleva mal con sus compañeros de trabajo, or you could just say, Maria no se lleva bien con sus compañeros de trabajo. You'll see this construction used in one of two ways. The first way is the way I've shown you with the word con, which means with. That's the Maria se lleva bien con Juan. Maria gets along with Juan. And you'll also see it used in a reciprocal manner. Maria y Juan se llevan bien. Maria and Juan get along well, meaning with each other. Or Maria y Juan se llevan mal. Maria and Juan don't get along or they get along badly with each other. The presence of that word con is going to tell you which one you're dealing with. For example, compare these two sentences. Los niños se llevan bien. The children get along well. And los niños se llevan bien con otros niños. The children get along well with other children. For folks who are watching, you're still having some trouble with conjugating some of these verbs. Here is this verb conjugated in the present tense. Feel free to take a screenshot or write these down because I'm going to be giving you some examples to practice with. Folks seem to like a few exercises at the end of these short videos, so uh, let's go ahead and do some, right? I'll say the phrase in English, I'll pause for several seconds, and that's when you're supposed to say it, and then I'm going to give you the answer in Spanish. Feel free to pause the video if you need to. Ready? I get along well with Juan. Me llevo bien con Juan. Me llevo bien con Juan. We get along well, meaning with each other. Nos llevamos bien. Nos llevamos bien. We get along badly. Nos llevamos mal. Nos llevamos mal. Do you get along well with Maria? Te llevas bien con María? Te llevas bien con María? Remember, to make our questions, we're just going to put an upside down question mark at the beginning of the sentence, a regular question mark at the end, and we're going to change our inflection. So how'd you do on those? Did you get them all right? If you did, congrats. If you missed a couple, don't be too hard on yourself. It just takes a little bit of practice. I think you'll get it. One way that you can practice these constructions and also see how they work with other constructions is to type a short phrase in Google and put it in quotes like, Llevarse bien, or me llevo bien. And you're going to come up with tons of different websites that you can read through, and you're going to see it actually used. And I, it, those kind of things always help me to kind of reinforce it in my head. Well, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, just do me a favor and give it a thumbs up. And until next time, hasta luego.